What's up everybody? Today's video is going to be a list of gear I'm planning on buying in 2019. Let's get to it. Okay, so like I said, this video isn't really going to be a review per se. It's going to be more of a look forward at the list of gear I'm hopefully going to be purchasing this year, as well as a little bit of info about each product from what I've gathered from research without actually having any hands-on experience. I will be making full review videos as I buy these products, but as of now, they're just a dream. First off, we have the Elgato Stream Deck. The original was released in March of 2017, with its successor, the Stream Deck Mini, being released in July of 2018. And with the recent release of SDK, which allows for third-party integration, this product is just going to continue to grow. I know I don't live stream, but my goal here is to use this for day-to-day -day computer uses, such as YouTube or for my day job. I don't have a desktop computer, nor do I have a desk at my apartment because it's just too small. So I'm probably not going to need the original Stream Deck. The Stream Deck Mini will be just fine. And I'll probably just use it at my day job where I actually have a desk. Speaking of computers, I need an upgrade. I've had the same MacBook Pro for about eight years now. And the only problem I've had with it is now it's super slow and extremely full. I have to delete stuff on a normal basis or transfer it over to hard drives. So I plan on getting another laptop because like I said, don't have a desk here for a desktop. I plan on building a PC when my wife and I buy a house and I have space to do that. But for right now, I'm going to have to stick with a laptop. Another piece of gear I'm hopefully going to be getting this year is the Tech from Palette. Now, if you haven't seen these things, they are awesome. On their website, they state, Palette is a modular hardware device that provides creators with personalized control of any software. So what these are are magnetic controllers and you can customize their functions based on whatever program you're using. Awesome, right? Their versatility and functionality get me all excited to edit. Is that weird? I think that was weird. Another piece of tech I'm planning on getting this year is a gimbal. Now this last Christmas, my lovely wife gifted me with a gimbal from Beholder. And while my camera and lens were under the supported weight, my camera was not on the supported cameras list. So unfortunately I decided I needed to send it back. Now I'm looking at getting the Ronin S from DJI. At this time, I want to mention that companies don't send me products to review. I actually buy all these products with my own money, with the exception of a few videos that I've done where friends have let me borrow stuff to review. I have to purchase all the products on my own. Having said that, it'd be greatly appreciated if you liked this video and even considered subscribing to the channel. Okay, let's get back to the list. All right, next on the list is a second camera. And yes, you heard me right, a second camera. I only have the one. Right now I'm running a Canon 70D, shoot all my videos to do all the photography that I do. All of it's done on the one camera and I could really use a second one. Now in my research, I've come up and I think I'm gonna end up going with the Canon M50. In all the research I've done, I've always come back to this camera. And I think that the ability to do 4K and the price point that it's at really makes it hard to pass up. All right, up next, and I'm gonna butcher this name, is the Yalangu Auto Dolly. Now what this is is a three-wheeled motorized auto dolly, and what really caught my attention with this at first was just its versatility. You can use this on a tabletop or any hard surface to go in a straight line or an arc. You can also put this on a slider to make any slider a motorized slider. This dolly can hold up to three kilograms or 6.6 .6 pounds and has three speed settings. It can supposedly hold anything from a smartphone to a DSLR. I'm really excited to check this thing out. So like I said, I'm planning on doing full reviews of all these products when I actually get them in and I actually get some hands-on experiences with them. Now, obviously these aren't the only videos I'm gonna make this year. This is just a list of stuff I'm planning on making right now. All right, so now let's look at the price, which is the fun part, right? We're gonna see how much this list is gonna cost. Now we're not gonna include a laptop in this list because there's just so many variables that go into buying a laptop and that change the price that we're just not gonna get into that rabbit hole. But let's start off with the Elgato Stream Deck. The Stream Deck is $150 on Amazon, with the Mini about being about $70. The DJI Ronin S is $759 on Amazon, and we have the Canon M50 and a 15 to 45 millimeter lens coming in at $649. Now the Palette Gear, the starter kit's about $200, with the Professional Kit being about $500. And finally, the Yalangu Auto Dolly is about $70. 
So altogether, we're looking at spending about $1,747 on this list. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and even consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you want to see my last review, click this link on screen. If you want to see my most recent video, click this link. Also, let me know down in the comments if you have any of these products and what you think about them. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.